If you were going to sit down another um, actor who maybe was on a path to do something else and their parents, they were going to go meet their parents that weekend and have that quote unquote talk, yeah. what would you tell them? What would be your advice to that person? You live once and you don't have that much time on this earth. If there's something you really want to do, I mean really want to do, like there's nothing else you can do except for this and it makes you that happy, you have to do it. And, and I think that's important for, you know, I think there's a lot of people who are unhappy in this world because they're doing things they don't like to do. And yes, they're probably financially secure, but they might be miserable. Is that really how you want to live the rest of your life? I don't know. For me, I, I couldn't do that. I've, I'm too much, I'm too stubborn for that. <laughs> so that would be part of the talk. If you were going to advise Jack or Jill, you know, blossoming artist yeah would that be part of it to like sit mom and dad down yeah I, I just think you have to be honest mm -hmm. um, with yourself and with them tell them what you want to do now I want to do this on my own I took the hard route I didn't ask for anything I didn't say you know can you finance my apartment can you pay for acting classes can you pay for this I didn't ask for any of that because because I wanted to be on me this is my choice I'm leaving a lucrative career in dentistry or, or medicine where you know I did uh, get a degree in biology, you raised me to, to be a doctor, to be a professional, and I chose a different route. But I won't ask you for anything. I'll do it on my own. You know, it, 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 that's. I think it's easier for me to do that than to say, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this career in acting and to be an artist. But you can you pay for it? <laughs> that's a harder conversation. But I think I kind of put pressure on them um, because I wasn't asking them for anything. So it wasn't manipulative, but it was like, this is my choice. I love you and you're my parents, but I'm gonna do something different than what you're doing. But that's okay, I still love you and you love me and, we're, and you're still gonna be my parents and I'm still gonna support you and you're still gonna support me. But this is what I wanna do. Let's see what happens, you know? And it's been fine, they, they absolutely love it now and they support me and they're like my biggest fans, my only fans. <laughs> well, it sounds like you followed up though with action. Absolutely. And I think that's probably the key thing. Well, yeah, I, I went to New York and I was like, all right, acting, let's go learn how to act. So I went to Terry Schreiber. I took classes at Terry Schreiber Studio for years. I got into every class I could. I started signing up for student projects, then independent projects, and then I got an agent and a manager, and, you know, here I am today. Do you put a lot of pressure on yourself to make things happen? It sounds like you're probably a doer. I, I get that. You have to. Mm -hmm. There's too many actors in this business too many good actors in this business, too many bad actors in this business to not tr do your best. Every day I try and do something. If there's not an audition or an opportunity um, coming up, what can I do to better my career? Whether it's updating a website, whether it's taking another class, whether it's go work on a scene. Wh something to do that's creative that will help me because you have to be constantly getting better. If you're not getting better, you're getting worse, right? It's like, I was a big, a big soccer player in college and in, in high school. Um, and my philosophy was, you're only as good as your last game. You're only as good as your last practice, right? It's for athlete's mentality. So for acting, you're only as good as your last audition or your last you know, film. You could have an amazing movie, but let's say you do another uh, film or a TV show where the, it bombs and, and you know, you're not getting good reaction or good traction. Guess what? That's the last impression you're leaving with people. So you gotta bounce back. You know, so you have to be constantly getting better. My goal is to try and be doing something every single day creatively. It's hard, that's the hardest thing about acting, is that the jobs, there's not an audition every day, you're not gonna work every day steadily until you're at that level. Uh, so what do you have to do? You wanna write, you wanna try and do your own own projects. That's the, that, that's the goal for me.